what's up guys and welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to uh, make a password for specific dropbox files or folders so make sure to stay until the end of the video but before we move on it would mean a lot if you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you make sure you stay alerted whenever we post another tutorial so guys why would you need a password on dropbox so basically if you're sending some important files through the dropbox and you want to add another layer of security you can just easily add password to that folder or, or files so keep in mind that you need a dropbox pro for that so if you don't know how to get dropbox pro you can just go to account go to settings and over here we are having dropbox plus uh, and you can try it for 30 days and then you can um, basically uh, pay for the others which is not free so how to basically create a password so hover over the uh, file or folder you want to send and go to share so after uh, you clicked share you need to go to this gear wheel over here or the settings icon after it we are having a couple of options here so how to add passwords exactly you need to go to links for editing and link for viewing so in both of these options over here you need to press require password so i need to upgrade to dropbox professional to enable all link settings but if you have that you can just easily uh, press require password and also for link for viewing just press require password so how to do it as you can see when you press uh, require password if you're adding a password to a view only link next to who has access people with password set the password and click save basically quite an easy process let's go through it again so after you press share and basically you need to go to gear wheel over here and then go to link for editing press require password and link for viewing require password then you need to change this who has access uh, you need uh, you are gonna have additional option only people with passwords so hopefully this video helped you a bit so thank you for watching and see you in the future tutorials goodbye guys